Hi guys, Daniel Hayes here. Today I'm going to start a vlog and it's a bit of a surprising vlog but I have bought a new Harley Davidson and I am going to customise the absolute crap out of it. But what's a little bit odd about this motorbike vlog is that the motorbike I've bought, a motorbike that I bought someone, my ex-wife's, and I've now bought it back off her. And I'm going to customise it and I just want to say, and I just want to say I'm not going to tolerate any anybody saying anything negative or derogatory about her, the fact that I have purchased the bike back. We did, we did have a very amicable settlement, that's all I'll say. And um, I have been able to purchase the bike back, which is good. So I've got myself a 48 Sportster. Um, it's a little bit weird. But um, I think in the next month or two with Colin at Geelong Harley Davidson, we are gonna work the crap out of this thing. I'm gonna try and create the best 48 sports star in Australia. The budget's $100,000, so with that we should be able to make something pretty good. I'm joking about the budget being 100 grand. <laughs> That's garbage. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't even know you. Whose car am I in? Who the fuck are you? Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Please don't. This, this, what's your name again? Fuck up. <laughs> Her name's Nairi, she works for me. <laughs> Jesus. Hi. <laughs> Nori's just giving me a lift to pick up the motorbike. <laughs> Sorry, darling. Personal Uber driver. Personal Uber driver. Yeah. Okay, anyway, gonna go get the bike. Let's do it. It's a bit weird seeing it, but anyway. Yeah, Thanks, Dale. I appreciate the lift. So the vlog I did on this bike is my biggest vlog. 1.2 million views it had. It was a viral video. Today, it's my bike now. I can take it to Geelong Harley. I'm going to drop it off there, and um, we're going to talk about what the hell we're going to do. What can I say? I'm back! How are you been, Daniel? You alright? You working hard school? Yeah, 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 fuck yeah. That's nah, all good. How have you been? Pretty good? Yeah, a bit quiet. Been, been hard living, you know, being isolated from everyone. Oh, everywhere. It's just the same, everywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. Jeez, check this thing out. It's Webby's. Is it Webby's? That, that's a mix of sharper. That looks awesome. So I've got a budget of a hundred grand. Do you think I can get a good bike? Hundred grand? grand? We could gold plate it for half that. For fifty? Yeah. I'm just joking. I don't have a I don't have a hundred grand budget. I got like a two grand budget. What will that get me? What will two grand get me? Uh, a good detail. So this vlog's about customising a sporty, making it looking really hot. This is a round town bike that I'm going to use, but there's a little sporty in here. Check this out. This is cool. That's cool. That's an old one, isn't it? Uh, not really. I love these tyres. Oh, I don't like them. They're not good for going around corners. Yeah, I know they're not, but... What year is it? Yeah. That's an 07. 07, so this is 12, 13 years old. Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's just basically... It's not a cafe racer, it's just a bobble with clip-ons on it. Yeah, I'm after a bike that I can ride, say, down Ligon Street in Melbourne. Something that, you know, is a bit of oh. a head-turner. A cafe racer type. I mean, yeah. it might be a cafe racer, but just something you, you you might take on a bike on a on a toy run or yeah, you, know, yeah, you know something yeah. where everyone you know. Yeah. You've... Oh, sports is a perfect platform for doing stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I know that bike. The guy that bought the monkey bike still hasn't collected it yet because of COVID nineteen. So you've got a, you've got a sports stuff. Yeah. Come here. It's a forty eight. 
cafe racer. We built it here. We could cut the whole back end off it, put the back end of a Street 500 on it. Yeah. And the um, best thing I could do was put a decent set of shocks on it. It just goes around corners so well. Yeah, right. It's a Honda. Can't kill it. Did, did you guys, if you guys, did you miss me? Yeah. yeah. But I had cancer once and I missed that too after it was gone, so it's sort of the same thing. Sort of. So, Cole, we're going to build Australia's best 48 Sportster. No, I'm serious. So, this is a sporty star, 9,000 Ks. Pretty clean. Yeah. yeah it's a good bike. So, we're going to chop it up. Sweet. What are we going to do to it? Well, can I show you some pictures? Yep, do no. that. Right. Okay. So Cole, now obviously I've got I've got an array of stuff here I like. Yep. I'm thinking in some sort of exhaust like that. Yep. Easy. I'll, I like this stuff here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I just I want it to be custom. Like we're getting, I want I want to make the best the best 48 in in Australia. Well, that's fairly ambitious. Why? There's a lot of pretty cool 48s out there. Yeah. Well. Well. Okay. So I like that. But the most bike I like the most, Cole, is. This one with the spring in front end, yeah. So can we do this? Yep. Okay. But you know that's not a sport, that is not it? What is it? <laughs> it's an aftermarket frame. It's a chopper. It's rigid. Well, we're leaving all this shit the same, aren't we? So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, we can make it look similar to that. We won't get exactly the same because there's a rigid. Yep. See the exposed frame. Yep. Very cool. You can do that to your sponsor, but you kind of really wreck it. You can buy weld on hard tails for them. This is awesome. I saw this bike. Well, that's, that's a rigid frame, so there's no rear suspension. And that frame you're looking at there is probably what you're looking at in those photos. Yeah, right. But, but, but can you make mine look cool? <laughs> yeah, we can make anything look cool. Okay. But cool's in the eye of the beholder, mate. It's like yeah, well, I, beauty. I, I, I do cool, so do you? All right. Okay, my next question is really important. Yep. These rims, right, are 16s. Yep. They're going. So I don't want these. I want 18s on it. Okay, and I want to show you something on my phone. I'm going to put these, those on it. I know. Everything I hate. Everything you hate. Now, tell you why they're going on it, Cole. Come around here. Can I show you something? They're as heavy as bugger. Yep, okay. Because what I want to do is, I want to see these, I want a bronze tie in with that colour, like a gold, yeah. do you know what I mean? And then maybe the rods here, yeah. that, 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 tie in with the, the wheels, I think will look mint. And then I'm going to go a, a silver tank, and silver here, and then this silver. So silver, gold, and I think, you know, with that spring front end, very clean looking. Are, are you with me? Are yep. we on the same? Yeah, that'll look What right. are you thinking? That'll look good, won't it? You don't do drugs anymore, do you? No, no, I don't do drugs. Why? Why are you saying that? Oh, I guess the way you're designing it, it sounds like you might have had too many before you got here, but if you don't take them, it must be serious, so... I'll take it serious, that's good. Um, you, you, are we on the same page? This is stage one. Can we put a cam in it as well? Same as a monkey bike one. No, I want a proper cam in it. <laughs> We bar. <laughs> I want one that fucking works, not a dry sump can. I'm not that dumb. You can, um, yeah, you can pop these up. And I want those fire, those fire Bridgestone tyres on it. Can I show the tyres I want on it, Cole? Can you, can you quickly yeah. show this? Oh, yeah. I really want to go the old school bobber cool look. Well, you might not be able to do 18 inch rims and get those old style tyres. We'll have to check. Definitely bigger. So I'll obviously collect the wheels because I want to sell those. Drag bars, flat yeah, bars. Drag yeah. bars, the spring of front end. Now, what about shocks? What, what, what are we doing in this area? Well, you decide whether you're turning it into a rigid or not. You're turning it into a rigid, you don't need shock. Okay. There'll be none of that, it'll be just a solid frame. So do you reckon you should turn it into a rigid? It's not up to me, it's up to you. You better have to start with a frame. Like that. Is it a big deal to turn this into a rigid? Yep. Well, let's not do that. Okay, good. And, and obviously, we'll talk along the way as you're doing it. Things will pop up, yeah? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. What? That you'll be talking to me, that means you'll come in here. That, you know, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything, but... Have I, have I worn my welcome here? <laughs> do, I, I don't mean to be rude, but do you need to be taking notes? Like, you're going to remember all this shit? No, fuck, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even taking any notes. I'm not even fucking standing with you because you asked me to come with you and pretend I was interested. I'm pretend... Have I failed? You're a fucking customer, mate. That's rude. Yeah, so paint job's going to be like this. I just like the clean Harley-Davidson, like that. 
Okay, now, sorry, final thing. Final this, is, this is cool as hell. Yeah, it is cool. Mate, I'll show the real. Oh, you saw the real picture. Mm. There it is there, mate. Yeah. It's pretty hot, huh? I don't care much about so much the motor, it's more the look. Bob of life, I think it is. Uh, okay, Cole, final thing. See this here, hold this up. This, this, this system here, this nitro system. Yep. Can we get something like that bolted on it? No. Yeah, I, do, I, I got bolted one on a monkey bike once, so I should be able to do it on that. No, but, but, but see the way all the cords are coming out and it wraps into the motor? Oh, you want to make it look like it's connected? No, it doesn't have to work, it just has to look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can put the petrol in that for the flamethrower. Do you want this one to shoot flames? No, can we make it shoot flames? Look, but can we cost, cost effectively make it shoot flames? Yep. Can we, Cole, and I'm open to your thoughts on it, I'm thinking about some sort of canister a canister that, that can be mounted somewhere that would look cool that I could maybe have made red that might have like a pull tab like an aeroplane like those fighter jackets have those yellow pull tabs it's a novelty thing but it does hold a litre of fuel because we're, we're going to keep the peanut tank on it which holds fuck all fuel we know that do you know what I mean? Yep. like as a bit of a feature do you think or not? yeah if you want to we can do that maybe yeah. think about that later on oh you a fire extinguisher on me Hey? Fire extinguisher, they've got a pull thing and you can probably hit the lever. If we mounted that like that, but just just put like fuel on it, fuel on one of those those like those yellow and black tags, you know, that they have on aeroplanes, like you've got to remove before you move the wheels. Would that look alright or is that too much? Reading in your oh. <laughs> oh no, it says Bob, I thought it said knobhead. Bob here, now this is my sponsor, UK. The exhaust is gonna sound good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You might want to go and talk to the boys out the front about the Wheels. Yep. I'm not sure what you can get. I'd, why don't you just stick with these? They're too small. They've got to get be bigger, mate. Bigger in diameter or wider? Higher. Up. Mm -hmm. They can. I read you, you, these are 16s. They go to 18s. The, the rear can take an 18. And I, I just don't want it. To, I want it to look different. You know what I mean? We could. Yeah, it's a big job on these. Over we cut the head stem out, rake it, and put an overlink springer in it. But that's a fairly large job. Do you know what I mean by that? So this, instead of it being on that angle, we put it on that angle. So you make you it a, more of an angle. Yeah, so you can put a longer front end and more of a chopper look. Yep. Like the, how that front wheel's on that looks, sticking that out. Tight. That looks hot. That does look good. Yeah, well, it's just a shitload of work. You're the man. We'll get it done. This vlog's going to be called Building Australia's Best 48. No pressure. So but what do you use the suspension on a rigid frame? So they want to put a rigid frame in it. No, we don't want to. We're just discussing, discussing ideas. Discussing ideas. If you want it to look cool, that what makes them look cool and old school is less. So you don't have yeah. too much on there, like shock absorbers and all that sort of crap. Oh, and can, can we put springs on the seat for comfort? Yeah, is that, is that, your that looks a bit daggy though. So you have to have that for to legally register a hardtail. You must have springs on there somehow. Well, well, so I mean, there's one up there. I'm prepared to spend a little bit of money. So if you think, Danny, what if happened you to think, the hundred grand? No, it's way less than that, Cole. It's so this is. isn't a factual, truthful no. vlog. Oh, okay. No, right. but my question is, if you think, if you go, Danny, you know what? We need a rigid frame. Well, let's chop the back off and bolt it on. I mean, if you think we should do that, I want something that blows people away. People go, holy fuck, that that's the bike. That's that bike that that guy built with Danny. They say that about the monkey bike. Hey? They say that about the monkey bike. So what are you saying? You're saying to pull all the motor out of there and all the parts and put it into a rigid frame? Yep. Yep, okay. And I'm going to get a much cooler look? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Whatever we do to that 48, it will always look like somebody took a Harley Davidson 48 yep. and modified it, chopped it, yep. did whatever, but it'll still look like a 48. Yep. But this way, it won't. It'll look like, like that other photo you like. Yep. The distinct difference, it's in a rigid frame. But I still want it, can I still call it a 48? Call it what you like. Yeah, I'm going to like do a little 48 on it. Well, you might not want to. It might be way cooler than a 48. Okay, okay. This might be a 49. A 49? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, maybe we cool. Just so you're saying to buy, so you, that frame changes the whole bike. Do you want to buy that frame then, Cole? Oh, we'll talk about it. I mean, I mean, I'll pay. What's it saying? It's only a grand. So it looks looks like we're gonna looks like we're gonna totally destroy this bike and pull everything off it and put a new frame in it, here, Cole. Yep. All right. So that's the first change. Yep. We found a whole bunch of frames there, but they're all for earlier models. This has got the heat heat wrap over the shins. <laughs> Is that bad? No. Just somebody didn't do it properly. It's a rigid hardtail. It's only to 03. I don't know whether that's as Tommy said because of the injection. We can make an injected chopper, that's all right. 
I'm in your hands, mate. You, you know this is your area of expertise. So it's going to give you a nice, clean look at the back end, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you start from you start with a blank canvas. Yeah. And then you can build whatever you want on it. Because you talk about bobbers. Bobbers don't have the front ends out. They have the men. Well, it's not going to be. It'll be like that. Yeah. That's fine. Why are you laughing, Cole? <laughs> it'll be cool as buggery. But it's not what I think's cool. It's what you think. Well, I've shown you pictures of what I want. If you can make it look like that thing. Right. That so that frame there. <laughs> so this one here. Yep. That looks cool. That's not a sports though, but the frame will look so much a bow leg, but it won't matter. You can Sweet do it. Yeah, yep, we'll get a front end. So frame. I, I leave I leave that with you for now and we'll, and you'll call me every step of the way, Cole, and I'll Yep. Is that alright? Yep. You can go over it. Alright. Thanks, Cole. No, I appreciate it. Alright, we'll let the um Dave, it started again. It started again. We're, we're we're back here and we're gonna do a full custom. Bet that this is gonna be Australia's best ever. It's gonna be called it's going to be called a 49. We're going to call it a 49. That's the name. I think we get a bit more inventive than that. We'll, we'll, we'll go a little bit further and call it the 69. <laughs> call it the 69? That's a meal, a meal for two with a terrible view. <laughs> Jesus.